You burnt my ass down. I don't care what you like. My sister had a score to settle in the tavern. John Kelly, ready for your next big fight. It's just a friendly reminder that the walls and black men have ears. Resist from within and they cannot hurt you. I'm escaped. <laughs> Sophia is married to the footman. She says she's happy. You've brought me into a Molly house. A wells in my house. There's only one place left. As you are in such dire straits. You can have your dirty money and you never come near me, my girls or my family ever again. Now fly away home. You win. How would you grow this? You don't own the floor you stand on. You need to invest. How do you reckon they do that? America. There's land for sale. She wants. So even hell spat you out. It seems hell has been visited on this house. No one died. If that's what you're hoping. I'm here to see Charlotte. You'll have to crawl through me first. And please, send her my love. You can change the face you present to the world, but you can't change a putrid soul. Stay away! The weather to deliberate. I'm not your chat, mate. Don't spoil it. Nearly there. Oh, oh. 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 oh, sorry. <laughs> we'll bet a fair few in tonight. I'm going to make you a mint. I got my money back. Tonight's for you. <laughs> what of repairs, loss of earnings. I get to make my champion, that's all I need. We'll split the takings then. We'll see. I'll fight you if I have to. <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> Watch. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Is this to be the main event? <laughs> Your ladyship. Looking forward to shaking St. James from his slumber? Very much. I want the world to hear about tonight. Especially Sophia. I want her to know that there's no scandal so great that she can't come home. There might be. If any constables pay us a visit. What can they do? 
I'm a member of the nobility, hosting a private party for a few friends. Lady Isabella Fitzwilliam, I've followed you and your daughter's adventures intently. Such bravado. I see you lack for none, madam. Elizabeth Harvey, my new business partner and friend. <laughs> this is my pa. Ah. Oh, you, sir, are a very well-made man. She's in gentleman's clothing. <laughs> Aren't we all? You must be Charlotte. I have silks that would light up London were you to lend your radiance to them. Is now really the time to be flogging our wares? It's always the time. Lucy tells me that you're master of ceremonies this evening. I have just the jacket for you. Huh. So be keen, but not too keen. Mm, make them fret that we'll walk away. It's the only way to buy land. Just like handling a coal, then. No, Emily. He's a respectful businessman. Which means we can't take a whore with us. Fuck off. I'm the conduit. Half-wit. Where have you been? Sliding his pole up Charlotte Wells. She rivals Shakespeare for her tales. Let's go. Emily, stay here. I'll uh, tell you all about it, puppy. Don't puppy me. Oh. You can need your own doughy dick from now on. Dolly's. Please don't. Let's get used to a stranger's touch, my dear. I like her. She has spark. I don't want to stay here. Unfortunately, we have no choice. But I can help. <clears throat> I'm ready to earn. Wonderful girl. If you will trust me, I have a plan to protect you from the paws of humdrum men. But Mrs. Oh, forget that, ghoul. You're far more precious than to be spent on mere subsistence. When the time is right, you will earn an instant fortune. Nothing less. Is there truth to Emily's words? That whore jabber's drivel. You're a fool for listening. I want to brain Charlotte Wells. Not better. Say hello to Hardwick. Don't let my pa see that. Didn't I say it would fit? I have an eye. And the colour becomes you. Mm. How much? It's a gift. Excuse me, Miss Harvey. The man won't give you credit that says he doesn't know you. Oh, for goodness sake. He knows me. Put the account in my name. Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> the account goes in her name. Thank Mrs. Harvey for me, but I can't accept this from her. It's my gift. Can't a daughter treat her pa from time to time? Treasure it. <laughs> what is this place? Really? I told you. It's a tailor's. Where I'm offered as an extra frill. It works for me and it works for them. I'll be on to home, Mr. North. Love you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that helped. <laughs> Lydia Quigley can't hurt me. I have no secrets anymore. Don't you? She can find weakness in a rock. Don't underestimate her. No space left in my head for that vampire. You make some. She was asking for you. What can she do? Charles has vanished, her house is gone, she has nothing. A cut snake's more likely to strike. She needs a dress. 
choose. You said yourself she has spark. You should consider it an investment. Very well. But get her rutting. Don't be soft on her. No, 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 no. Or she'll go the way of Charles and Charlotte. If you don't find her curls, I will. I'm dead. Died Friday last. Miss Catherine Bottomley, stepdaughter of Reverend Bottomley of Barford, succumbed to a fever caught tending the poor. Oh, your own family have written your obituary. Monsters. This is good news. How? I'm dead to my family, about to become a whore, and living in the home of a merciless board. <laughs> they won't seek you out. They can't send you back to Bedlam. You're free. This is it. Looking for a Mr. Jonas Young. You found him. Sorry to intrude on your breakfast, but we're the types of fellows who spy an opportunity and act. We're to buy the land. You don't need to deal with anyone else. Well, this is an ambush, gentlemen. We only arrived last night. We're yet to wash the sea salt from our skin. Well, so to us, you need an unpack. Company? So soon? <laughs> it's look half dead. What do you know of America? We fought the French there. Spilled blood on that land. And now we want to own a piece of it. Will you work it yourselves? We plan to parcel most of it up. Sell it on to men and bring it to life. As the good book says, in the parable of the talents, spread your wealth. It's a fine plan. Where is the money to finance it coming from? I am in pistols and muskets. My brother and I are in the tavern trade. All aspects of the tavern trade. Food, drink and lodging, madam. What about company? There are always people to talk to. My wife is an astute businesswoman. I wouldn't make a move without her approval. We admire your enterprise, gentlemen, but we need to see the color of your cash. I have no secrets anymore. She says with a whore languishing in her bed. Why must you always speak the awkward truth? Someone has to. Very well. Where you're concerned, I'm a shameless liar. What is it? It's my brother. None of them look like him. It's his way of telling me that he's returned. I'm being warned. <sighs> Damn it. I want to. You are not my servant. But I am. You bought me. My money buys your secrecy. In this room, I want a lover. A match.
<laughs> I can suggest more edifying material, should you wish. Hmm. I like to read about myself. The stories they make up. Hmm. You? It's Mr. Croft, isn't it? I've heard you speak. If I could just pay for my fitting. Certainly. Five guineas. For your discretion. <laughs> I like those boys. Claude, they work from the gutter like me. They thought you were religious. <laughs> if only they knew. I need to find my children. I know. And I'm coming with you. I'll wait outside, wherever, but you cannot walk the streets alone. I know these streets better than I know myself. But you may be recognized. With me, you're safe. You're Mrs. Margaret Young. I have hemmed thee here, within the circuit of this ivory pale. I'll be a park, and thou shalt be my dear. <laughs> Feed where thou wilt, on mountain or in dale, graze on my lip. And if those hills be dry, stray lower, where the pleasant Fountains lie. <laughs> you have something for me? I simply love macaroons. You've been trading. I want my cut. Furnishing Golden Square has made such demands on my purse. I know you like dolls. <laughs> Do you think I'm the village idiot? Pay me cash, or I'll send someone round to break your legs. <clears throat> Do you seek bids, madam, for her time? Dare I hope, her virginity? Gentlemen, this is an announcement. That Kate is born this day, and none of you are worthy of her. <laughs> Name your price. Your credit is no good with me, sir. You stole my girl. Mm. Well, I'll pay for them both. Double what you're imagining. You can't begin to guess what I'm imagining. You're not good enough for this angel. Are you a fool, Mrs. Quigley? Hawking your stock like a costermonger? <laughs> With child, how delightful. Do not bother to seek me out, Anne, when he casts you aside. <laughs> Do 
Did he not offer us a fortune? Nothing near it. But word about you will spread now like a thatch fire. <laughs> Are you going to the event at St. James this evening? We know nothing of it. Ah, it is a rumoured prize fight, hosted by Lady Isabella Fitzwilliam, of all people. A glimpse of your charge would make my evening. Well, consider it. I do enjoy a little sport from time to time. Like the true still aren't. Mm, don't delude yourself. They're stewing, licking their wounded pride. Keep your wits about you. Yeah. We've hooked him. One more fishing trip and we'll land him. I don't care anymore. Emily, we need you. He has a shrewish wife that you have to charm. Wives don't tend to like me. Well, if you gossip with her. Oh, I don't want to gossip. You're the ace of parsley. <sighs> the salt to the dish we serve. Talk him. The star in my east. Oof. You like Mr. Croft, don't you? He sees things differently. He sees a more equal world beyond rich and poor. He thinks we can change things. Imagine that. Be careful, my sweet. my world and everything to me. She fell asleep downstairs, knocked over a candle. Doesn't sound like her. How in God's name did you manage to return so soon? I got married. You took another man's name. It's the only way. Fun. 
me to America and back. Oh, I see you. Your business, sir? Mrs. Lennox. She's not in. Lodesome. It's all right, I send him away. What? You don't want to see him again, do you? He's my best payer. Please don't meddle with my business. I didn't think boards took coals. They do if they pay five guineas a turn. That funds her children's schooling. And pays most of the bills in the house. So how did you meet him? He bought me as an indentured servant. Wanted me to cook his meals. <laughs> you can't cook. Bet she didn't have to. I'm a harlot. I did what I had to. I feel sorry for him. Played like a fiddle. Lydia quickly in Bedlam. What has that done to her? Forget her. That part of our life's over. And I own her house. So we won. What clever girls. My handsome boys. <laughs> so you back for good, Ma. I just want to know what Ma's cooking for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be indulging me. They're a token of my gratitude. You woke me from a nightmare. Brought me back to life. How are you gonna get rid of your husband? More important now, we're gonna keep the law off you. We could all be hanged for harboring you. I haven't fought beyond my own worry this whole year. Maybe London's not the place for us. You mean America? Not for Jacob and me, unless you want us as houseboys for you and your husband. No. No. Like I said, I haven't fought. I have to go. I shall return tomorrow, and you can tell me all about your boxing. You'll come back to Mr. Young? I have to. You'll be worried. And we have been all year. I'll make it right. I've missed her. I have. But this past year I've been able to breathe. I know. She takes over. She wants us to go to America. She's always done what she thinks is best for us. Yet chose this life. Fate chose it. And for her, too. You think I'm a terrible person? I can see it. You can't beat me. I'm fucking Isaac Pincher. <laughs> what? Makes no sense. But I can't keep my hands off him. <laughs> it's good when it's like that. <laughs> What's America like, Mr. Young? Is it... Very big. Size cannot be grasped. Try me. I'm good at grasping size. <laughs> you remind me of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Our friends are back. With delightful reinforcements. I'm Mrs. Margaret Young. And you are? Mrs. Young, I have a, a, a gift for you, for a lady. The finest muff pistol, modelled by my own hand. 
is a beauty, Mr. Chadwick. I shall treasure it in my mouth. <laughs> and this I propose as our deposit. Gold for ground. I think they're serious, don't you, my dear? Perhaps the uh, young lady might want some air. Hmm. You went to the dead! You never saw me. How are you here? You were hanged. I've got a slippery neck. Is this genuine? Or are you two duping us? No, it's real. And you're shrewd to chase it. Brave a word, and I'll make sure that your boys lose their chance at this land. Now you go back your business, and I'll go back mine. We'll both be happy. So long as we make the purchase. Still a conniving cat. <laughs> Can't touch you, Mrs. Wells. More tricks up your sleeve than a conjurer. She always said she'd rather eat maggots than marry. I wish she had. She never makes it easy. It's mags. Pain in the arse. Dreamt of this moment. Longed for it. Yet now I feel like she's put me head for a mangle. Just be grateful, Will. You look beautiful. You look lovely, too. <laughs> the new Kate Bottomley. No. Not Bottomley. If I'm dead to my family, then they're dead to me. I want to be called quickly. made a good proposal and we're keen to be homeward bound so I'll happily sell to you <laughs> <laughs> well we should celebrate that there is the most extraordinary night in the offing in St. James pugilism hosted by a scandalous lady and a renowned courtesan Miss Charlotte Wells I love a boxing match uh, would you mind, Markers? Are you not too tired from the journey? Too tired to sleep. I'll have the deeds drawn up and we can all sign them tonight. <laughs> Tonight's contenders, two potent pugilists, undefeated in 28 bouts, champion John Killer Gilly and challenger Jack the Lad Lively. Mr. Noel, you're the main attraction as far as I can see. Do you like boxing, Mrs. Harvey? I like boxers. Uh, I can see you don't need me. I didn't realize it would be such a crowded affair. I'd rather be alone with you. Is my Mr. Pratt? This isn't the tailor's, Fredo. Ready to greet your guests?
you, Lady Isabella, for this magnificent venue. Who will be her champion? The lad Lively or Killer Kelly? Place your bets! What are you doing here? I wanted to present to you my daughter. Kate Quigley, pleased to meet you. We've been rather starved of society of late. Then enjoy your evening. I was going to throw her out. Mm, ignore her. Think she finally has cracked. Find a poor mad girl to boot. Mrs. Young, I presume. Mean slow. Yeah. We just fight lonesome. I happen to know he's bet very heavily against you. Is that so? Mm. The dog is going to die! <laughs> 20 on Lively. Do you have a tip for me, Mr. Crop? <laughs> You've been hiding from me. Come and pour me some punch. What are you doing? Saving him and all of us from your puppy dog eyes. You keep close to Chadwick. You keep Mr. Young away from the wells. This is a stupid fucking idea. Why don't you want to see your sweetheart? Regrets. It's noise, colour, laughter, life. How can I regret any of that? Hmm. It's also unwanted guests. I'll deal with these. You're either an imp or an imbecile showing up here. Don't you want to add some spice to your evening? The boxes are practically family. So if you don't want your pretty little face messed up, you'll behave like a lamb. Meh. <laughs> Gentlemen, why bother with this crude barbarism when Venus is amongst you? The goddess seeks to bestow her blessings. Venus, your servant. This is not a flesh market. Really? Please leave now. And yet to thank you. The kindness you showed me gave me the strength to escape Becky. Leave my house. As you wish. But hear this. The doctor I was assigned to is disgraced. I will not be going back to Bedlam before you. Fuck off, Lydia. No. You fuck off. All this time, it's been my only waking fall. Try and get back to England. Find my family. Make sure everyone's safe. Now here I am. And you're all doing better without me. Not everyone. I can't stay. Not for death sentence on me. But I can't leave. Not without them. And there's Will. Jonas. 
It's like you've got a foot in each life. That has got to split your fanny some. You never were good with a plan, were you? Jonas was indentured too. He understands me. What's he like in the hay? Surprising. Oh. <sighs> well, you are in trouble, girl. Oh, no. Tell me about the fire. How did it start, really? Piece of coal for that half. I bought a candle. Coal, knocked over a candle. Wind fuckers. Trust Emily Lacey to get in with scum. We've had our retribution. Don't involve yourself. Those pincher boys made me like them. I've got to warn Jonas not to sell to them. Well, after the solo's at that party, you'll be recognised. Well, then think of something. Because I'm going. You ready? <laughs> Have a good fight, boys. <laughs> for luck. Isabella, will you do the honours? Spirits of the box in. Sorry, Miss Wells. I was only playing. Mark Worm. How do you do that? Get men to do as you say. Sure, your mother will teach you. Well, she's not really my mother. She's dangerous. Be careful. Find me if you get in more trouble. He's the man to beat. Ah! My boy's a challenger. Lost his last fight. Wants to prove himself. Worth the risk? I think so. Jonas Young. William North. Why are they so friendly? life in America. He doesn't know about Will. It's funny. I nearly went to America with an Irishman. It's as if you're living my life and I'm in Great Street living yours. <laughs> Mr. Young. Excuse me. I'm Charlotte. You're more beautiful than even your mother could begin to describe. 
She's gonna run into deal. How would she even know about it? Why take such a risk? I had to come. I need to warn you about the pinches. Al, look at me. If you make trouble for Charlotte Wells, we won't succeed. Understand? Why are you so sad? I can't say. Trust me, I want this as much as you. Charlotte knows about a deal from you. You had two and two and reach ten again. Then get her out of the picture. What game are you playing with Mr. Young? I've just met him. You intent on stealing from us again? Sabotaging our deal? What deal? <laughs> He's a guest. I'm being nice to him as I'm nice to you. You're a horror with me. Tantalizing witch. Oh, that's all in your mind. I'm very forthcoming. I hope you will be soon. <laughs> Not here, I can't. Thank <laughs> you. 